Hello again, and welcome back to the What an Idiom podcast. Now, if you listened to the first podcast, you might already be thinking those Finns have lost their minds with these phrases. So, what better way to continue the series than to look at Finnish and English phrases that express doubt in someone's mental health? Buckle in, buckaroos, 'cause we're going crazy. Now, while mental illness is no laughing matter, there seems to be a veritable cornucopia of ways to imply someone's insane both in Finnish and in English. A very common way to claim this in English would be to say, he's lost his mind, implying that the person has been left in fact mindless. There is a direct Finnish equivalent that follows the same exact logic. Hän on menettänyt järkensä. The English phrase leaves me wondering whether the person in question misplaced their mind or had it taken away. But that's kind of a tricky question, so let's move on. One popular Finnish expression for insanity is sillä ei ole kaikki kotona, which means he or she doesn't have everyone or everything home. Note that in spoken Finnish it's very common to replace han, meaning he or she, with se, meaning it. The word sillä, the first word in the phrase sillä ei ole kaikki kotona, is a derivative of se. So the phrase literally means it doesn't have everything home, But it actually refers to he or she, so try not to get confused by that. Now, if you really want to be proper about it, use hänellä instead of sillä. So, hänellä ei ole kaikki kotona. Instead of saying he doesn't have everything home, a more fluent phrasing in English would be everything's not home with him, which is very close to something's not right with him. A commonly used English phrase that means something is wrong with the person, but it can refer to insanity as well. The phrase sillä ei ole kaikki kotona has been the starting point of countless variations, each one more humorous than the last. People have even taken characters from TV shows to star in some of these variations. So, here are some of the more popular ones. Sillä ei ole kaikki inkarit kanootis. He or she doesn't have all the Indians in the canoe. So the person is missing proverbial Indians from the place where they're supposed to be, the canoe. The symbolism here is quite clear. Now, in English, it's advisable to use Native American, First Nations, and so on when talking about this type of Indian. But bear in mind that the expression is not brand new, and this use of the word Indian is not equally frowned upon in Finnish. Sillä ei ole kaikki muumit laaksos. He or she doesn't have all the moomins in the moomin valley. This version of the phrase is immensely popular because of the Finn's love for the Moomin characters created by Tuva Jansson. In the description below you'll find a link to the first episode of the Moomins in English if you're not familiar with this ubiquitous, at least in Finland, phenomenon. And Finns, there's no need to comment on how much you hate the English voice acting. Really, I already know. Sillä ei ole kaikki ismot kasinolla. He or she doesn't have all Ismos at the casino. Ismo is a Finnish man's name, but this phrase doesn't originate with just any Ismo. The expression was born when the character of Ismo Laitela on the Finnish TV soap opera Salatut Elämät, meaning Secret Lives, had a gambling issue that eventually made him homeless. The show Salatut Elämät is the longest running Finnish soap, with the pilot airing back in 1998. Personally, I wouldn't advise anyone to watch the show if you're not already familiar with it, but you're free to pick your own poison. The phrase, sillä ei ole kaikki ismot kasinolla, however, is pure gold, and there's also a ton of isma remixes on YouTube. I think that's enough Finnish phrases for now. Let's look at some of the more colorful ways to imply someone's bonkers in English. She's lost her marbles. This is a phrase I've heard countless times, But I've never actually bothered to look into its origins. Until now. I'll put a link in the description below to phrases.org.uk if you're interested in a longer read on the subject. However, here's a quote from the same source that explains the essentials. It's more likely that marbles was coined as a slang term, meaning wits, common sense, as a reference to the marbles that youngsters play with. The notion of losing something that's important to you appears to have migrated from the image of a forlorn child having lost his prized playthings. An early citation of this figurative usage is found in an August 1886 copy of the St. Louis Globe Democrat. He is roamed the black old morning like a boy who had lost his marbles. 
There's definitely no shortage of these phrases, and people are said to be mental, batshit crazy, and so on. There is, however, one English phrase that I heard only once, and it stuck. The version I heard was spoken in a thick southern US accent, and stated, That boy's cheese didn't slip right out of his cracker. This is probably the most elaborate variant of the phrase. The simpler version was apparently heard in the movie Green Mile. I'll put a link in the description, but the phrase goes like this. I think this boy's cheese slid off his cracker. The Green Mile variant might be usable even if you don't speak with an 8-foot thick southern accent, but for the first version I think it's a requirement. To sum up, the majority of these phrases simply imply that something's not where it's supposed to be. What this means is that you can probably come up with a lot of interesting phrases for craziness yourself. So please leave a comment if you come up with something. I'm also interested in hearing what other phrases you already know, so leave a comment if you know some good ones. That's it for today's What an Idiom podcast. Toodles, see ya, and hey, hey.